We need the potential difference between P and Q. So we have three loops two and three. We need three to write three equations to solve this. And if you take nodal also, we need three equations. Now we will try superposition theorem and see how it can be solved easily okay so this question can be easily solved using superposition theorem and we will see that now we will see the case when we will retain the 10 volt voltage source and remove the other current source current source must be open circuited to make them make their value to be zero now we will redraw the equivalent circuit. Sorry, we have another resistance of 4 ohm here. 2 ohm, 8 ohm, and 6 ohm. We need to find out voltage difference between P and Q. That is V P Q equal to piston mark. Now, for case 1, we will assume that voltage be VPQ1. Here we have to find out VP1 minus VQ1. Okay, so what is this voltage? VP1. So we can use, we have 10 volt across 2 ohm and 8 ohm. Let's say this node is grounded. Now we have voltage at P equal to 10 volt by 8 plus 10 8 plus 2 that is the current into the 8 ohm resistance and VQ1 will be similarly 10 by 4 plus 6 that is the current into this 6 ohm okay we have that is 8 volts here and 6 volts now what is VPQ1 that is 8 minus 6 that is 2 volts we have found out VPQ1 as 2 volts now by superposition now what we have to do we have to put the current source back in and remove the voltage source now when we remove the voltage source what we have to do, we have to short circuit it to make the voltage across it to zero. Okay. So we will redraw the circuit once again. We have two ampere current source. Or we have the two ohm, the four ohm resistance. The voltage 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 source is short circuited. Now we have the 8 ohm here, 2 ohm here and the 6 ohm. Let this voltage be VP2 and this be VQ2. Now what we need? We need VPQ2 that is the case 2. Now 2 ampere is flowing. What is the equivalent resistance of the circuit? We have 4 and 6 in parallel. That will be 4 into 6 by 4 plus 6 plus this combination is in series with this 2 and 8 ohm in parallel 2 into 8 by 2 plus 8 that is 2 and 8 in parallel plus this 4 and 6 in parallel okay now what will be this value 8 into 6 16 so this will be 1.6 ohm plus this will be 24 by 10 that is 2.4 ohms that will be 4 ohms we have 2 ampere flowing through we may redraw it once again now we have 
2 ampere flowing through 4 ohm what happens we will develop a it will develop a potential of 24 that is 8 volt across it so vpq2 will be minus 8 volts okay that is we need the potential difference between these two points so vpq2 is minus 8 ohms now according to superposition we can add these values and find out what is vpq so what will be vpq vpq will be vpq1 plus vpq2 that will be 2 minus 8 that will be 